Hi guys, what's up and welcome to Eye of Adam. I literally just made a save Eye of Adam as well. <laughs> so let's begin. What the hell? You're, you're the Eye of Adam? O2. A pathetic wheelchair bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you. Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? Oh my god, what did you fucking do? Go? Tonight it's your turn to die. What the fuck I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to god I'll do it. Well, nothing to say, nothing at all. I don't think he can speak. For your sad little life. Say something, anything. Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave. You won't. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? What's that on his oh, eye? I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? What the? His eye is a mouse capture. How? How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. And brain. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. Saying the same animation again. Do it! What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? Wait, if you shoot... Don't pull the trigger. He's got a gas canister behind Fine. him. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? Flammable. I'm holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out. As soon as he looks at me. 
You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. Can you I'm shoot sorry. him from outside the room? I have to do. The muzzle flash is going to kill you as well. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Probably. Chat about the weather or, or politics? Yeah, you could. For God's sake, Cameron I'm sucks. here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. Yeah, That's friend doesn't exactly make you see. why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? He... This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No, he wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest, sweetest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable. Stuck to bed, he'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said... Do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He doesn't want to die. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Gas? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. That is true. Maybe you're right. Yes, put the gun down. But now I'm going to feel a butt coming leave, on. Mrs. A. I never want you to get hurt. God. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's... A parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! Damn it's straight. It's not what I've got anyone to live for, is it? Me? What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. 
That is a saying and a half. Do it. I care about you. Do it for me. That's true. She wouldn't be here. She wouldn't have helped you if she never cared about you. I got the achievement. I care about you. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's Wouldn't go he home. also rig it so he can cause the explosion? We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? You can hear the guess. I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. Quick, pull the trigger. So I think there's two stories there where you can probably end it's the whole me. game. Again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. Mitzi's died? I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her, though. Every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral. And there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. That's deep. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives.
Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and that was the cat lady. Let's get ready for downfall. Bye for now.